president is working hard on keeping his promise to drain the swamp. The president's proposed sending cuts aimed to make Washington more efficient. And these cuts include slashing the budget of the EPA Environmental Protection Agency. Trump recently signed an executive order rolling back Obama-era environmental regulations that made it difficult for businesses to operate in the United States. So is this a good thing? All this reorganization at the EPA. Here with me for his perspective, a Fox Business exclusive interview is EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt. Good to have you here. I, I can't imagine you're so popular uh, among some of the rank and file right now at the EPA. You're talking about a real organizational shift, a shift in the mindset. How's that being received? Well, it's needed, I'll tell you. And I really like the way you put it, that the president's keeping his promises. Because when you look the last eight years, Washington has become so central so consequential in the lives of farmers and ranchers, those that do oil and gas, those that are building the subdivisions across the country, literally the first stop for permitting authority, uh, for the ability to actually build an economy has been Washington, D.C. and at the EPA. So this reorganization is terribly important. Yesterday we had uh, 15 or so CEOs at the White House talking about the opportunities we have in infrastructure, but also in the energy sector. When you think about the resources we have as a country, natural gas and coal, uh, we're taking a different approach now, Trish. And the, and the, approach, what, what, well, the approach is making sure that we uh, develop, explore and develop our natural resources, but do so with a sensitivity to the environment and being responsible. You know, this Whereas past before, it was no, an environment first, business later. And now you're, you're trying to put the two sort of in focus? Well, I think it was only this last administration, the Obama administration, that said to you, Trish, and to me and to people across the country that we had to choose choose between jobs and growth and the environment. And that's a false choice. You know, as a country, we've always been able to develop our economy, grow our economy, and mm -hmm. take care of our natural resources. Since 1980, we've had a 65% reduction in those air pollutants that matter across the country, while at the same time growing our economy. So the, the last eight years, I think, just represented a false choice to the American people. Uh, we can do both. Uh, develop our natural resources and also be sensitive and protect our environment. And that's what we're focused upon. A lot of reasons to develop our natural resources. I mean, you just think strategically from an international perspective as well. Why Absolutely. Why wouldn't we want to make sure well, great. that we have an energy independence? Why do we want to rely on the Middle East? And that's what the, that's what the president did two weeks ago this past Tuesday. He was at the EPA. Both he and the vice president came and signed an executive order that said we're going to be about energy independence. Uh, we've been blessed with great you know, resources as far as natural gas and coal. Mm -hmm. uh, this war on one sector of our economy, the fossil fuel sector, the energy sector of our economy, is over. And we're going to come in and make sure that we regulate fairly, sensibly, with common sense, but also not engage in punitive action against those industries. You know, Scott, I talked to a lot of CEOs that told me, look, I want to invest in this. I want to invest in that. I want to create jobs. I want to create more factories. The problem is I got the EPA breathing down my back every time I turn around. Are you going to change that while still being mindful that we got a great country and we got many great places and great right. resources and we need to protect what's here too. I mean those in industry uh, when we talk about regulatory overreach sometimes people interpret that as being no regulation or absence of regulation that's not what re regulatory overreach really equals what regulatory overreach equals is the washington dc the federal government using power regulatory power to pick winners and losers okay. that type of uh, regulation is over it's good, good to, to see you, Trish. You Thank yeah. you so Thank much, you. Scott. Yeah. All right, we're taking questions.